The other odd thing that happened there was one of probably my most infamous legal writing and research student was a serial killer named Ted Bundy, who was in my section of legal research and writing. He attended the first class, according to my records, and then at the point where he was about to be uh, failed, came and dropped out of the law school and left the community. Uh, now, the fact that he was a serial killer was unknown to everyone at that point, of course. Um, but in comparing the dates, it became clear to me years later that he had killed two of his victims the day before he came to drop out. And I met him, actually, and shook his hand for the first time. And I told him, I said, if you don't start attending, if you don't attend the last five classes, you're going to get an F. And he said, well, I'm dropping out. And I'm leaving the community and going to another law school. And I said, oh, where are you going? And he said, well, I don't know yet, but I have an application, uh, applications out. And I said, well, why are you leaving us? And he said, well, he said, I haven't done very well here. I, I had a very odd impression of him that night. Uh, actually, I had to send another student after him to get him to even come and see me. Um, and it was years later that I recalled this encounter with this man, and a little spooky. Uh, and they eventually caught up with him and convicted him, and he was sentenced to death. And um, he, I think he is, um, I think there are 43 women who lost their lives to that one individual. He, he was a very devious, very, um, in terms of serial killers, one of the most notorious in this country. So it's a, just one of those odd circumstances. Um, so that's a pretty gloomy story, but one I, one I tell. 